Right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Assembly. It's Thursday. It's the 28th of January today, and we're OK. Um, it looks like it's going to be a little longer in lockdown now, which is a shame, which means we won't see you quite as soon as I hoped. But keep going. The work you're doing is brilliant. We love the work coming in. Please keep going. And any help you need, all you need to do is ask. Really, really important. All you need to do is ask and we are here to help. Right, last week in assembly, I did a couple of games and the response to the games has been amazing. I have had so many pictures in from the picture quiz. I've had so many comments about the categories game. And as we're in lockdown for a little bit longer, what I thought I would do is do a couple more games that we could do together. You can do them at home. You can do them in school. You can do them with your family, with your friends. When you see them again, you can do them over Zoom, anything you like. But a really good idea is to have a go at these games. And if you notice on the screen today, I am not alone because I have brought a few people in with me today to play the first game. The first game we've got is called the Yes, No game. Now, it sounds really, really easy. But let me tell you, it's not. When you play the game, you are not allowed to say yes or no. And you can't say yeah or nah either. And you can't shake your head and you can't nod. And you have to answer the question. If you're silent, you will be out. So you can't say yes or no. It sounds really easy. We did it in um, assembly in school this morning and the champion was Paige Blackwell, but we did staff and teachers and everybody else failed. So we'll see how it goes. So remember, the point of the game is you can't say yes or no. So I'm going to start with Mrs. Parsons this morning. Mrs. Parsons, are you ready? Are you ready to play? Maybe. Well done. That's the first question, Mike. You notice everyone she didn't say yes or no. Have you played this game before, Mrs. Parsons? Possibly. When did you last play it? Um, when I was about 10. When you were 10? Yep. You were 10, Mrs. Parsons. Yes. yes. She nodded. She nodded. Out. And I said, yep, I'm out. Oh, she did say yes. Yeah. Right, OK. <laughs> so Mrs. Parsons didn't manage it. So we're going to go to Mr. Ward next. <laughs> Mr. Ward, are you ready? I am indeed. Have you played this game before? I have. Have you been practicing a lot? A great amount. Did you practice at home? I did. Yesterday? Indeed. Were you on your own at home yesterday when you practiced? I was. Were you? Was there no one else in the house? There was not. Where were they? At work. They were at work? I believe so. What were they doing at work? Working. <laughs> Working? Indeed. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ward, you're getting quite good at this game. Are you sure you haven't played before? I have played before. Have you? Lots. When did you play? When did you last play? Many years ago. I don't believe you because you're very good at this. Are you sure you haven't played it recently? I, I haven't. Are you really sure you haven't played it recently, Mr. Ward? I, I, I did the other day. <laughs> um, but... What's it called, this game? Because you're very good at it. The game where you can't say two words. Yeah, you can't say yes or no. You haven't played it before. I, I have. You have? When? <laughs> oh, yeah. A couple of days ago. Oh, well, that was a hesitation, Mr Ward. Because <laughs> I'm good at it. No, that was a hesitation, Mr Ward. <laughs> no. I think, you, you're, I think you're out. Oh, what no. do you think? Oh, he took his head. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> right, so you see Mr. Ward was good, but we cracked him. Ooh, right, we so we're now going to go for Mrs. Merritt. Oh, no. Oh, Mrs. Merritt, you're the deputy head. That is correct. And as you're the deputy head, you should be very good at this game, shouldn't you? That's not a given. Are you sure? I think you'll be very good. I'm not sure I'd be that good. I think you shook your head earlier as well when you went, that's not a given. You're you... very kind to say that I might be good. No, but you shook your head earlier. I'm sure I saw you shaking your head. What do you think? I don't recall shaking my head. Oh, you did. Are you sure you don't recall it? I will accept if you think I did. Well, you look like you're nodding your head to me now. What do you think? 
I'm just moving my muscles in my neck because I sit at my computer for a long time so as there are new children long, in school. You sat at your computer for a long time this morning already? I have. Did you get up very early this morning to sit at your computer? Just the usual time. Um, and what was the usual time did you get up this morning, Mrs Merritt? Just after five o'clock. After five o'clock, that's a bit early, isn't it? You are correct, it is early, but not oh, that... for Milkman. Uh, when you said you are correct, I think you nodded your head there, Mrs Merritt. I just do it as a natural you, uh, neck movement. Are you, are you sure you didn't nod your head? I think you did. I'm sure I did not intentionally move my head. You didn't intentionally move it? I did not intentionally sure, move my sure head. Because it looks to me like you're definitely shaking I am body. sure I did not intentionally move my head. So you normally do move your head, though, when you say yes or no? I think I move my head a lot. And you played the yes-no game before at home? I did. As Mrs Parsons said, I probably did the same and played it when I was younger. When you were younger? I couldn't have played it when I'm older. No, true. That's very <laughs> true. Well, did you play it last week? I did not play it last week. You didn't play it last week? I've just said I oh. did not play it last okay. week. Okay, and did you, play it with your, did you play it with your family? I probably did when I last played it. We played it with your children at home, do you think? Most likely. And do you think they would play at home with their friends and family? Possibly. Possibly. Do you think they'd be any good at it? Probably. Probably? What do you mean by probably? Mm, there's a possibility. Oh, hesitation, hesitation. Ah, oh. oh, <laughs> champion. You did very well then, Mrs Merritt. That was fantastic. <laughs> so you see, it's not as easy as you think. Um, so that's the yes-no game. So we say thank you very much to Mrs. Parsons and Mrs. Merritt for playing that. And me and Mr. Ward are going to play another game now. And this game is the question game. Now, are you ready, Mr. Ward, for the question game? I am. <laughs> We're not doing the yes, no game anymore, but well done. So the question game goes like this. I ask a question and Mr. Ward doesn't answer it. And then when I ask the second question, Mr. Ward has to answer the first question. Now, this is a really tricky game and involves excellent memory, really good writing down skills, and um, very, very strong thinking. So if you think you can do that, we will have a go. So the first game, we're going to try, we'll do a short one, just an example. So the first question I'm going to ask Mr. Ward is, what kind of animal was your first pet? So Mr. Ward's got to think about that now, but he can't answer. And when I ask the next question, he has to answer. So, Mr. Ward, who is your favorite football team? Rabbit. Okay, Mr. Ward. Who is the worst football team in the world? Tottenham Hotspur. Um, and Mr Ward, what is your name? West Ham. <laughs> well done. OK, so we're going to try another one. If you see what we're doing there, every question you're answering the one after. OK, so the first question now to Mr Ward is, Mr Ward, what is three plus three? In your head, got it, yeah? So the next one, Mr. Ward, how many fingers have you got on your left hand? <laughs> Six. Mr. Ward, how old is Sir Captain Tom Moore? Five. Mr. Ward, how old is Henry Heath in year five? A hundred. And finally, how many donuts did I eat for breakfast? I'm hoping nine. <laughs> Good, well done. Okay, so then we can, if you like, go a little bit longer, but you've got to really think about this because the sequence gets longer and longer. So I'm going to do a slightly longer one, then we're going to finish with a very long one. Right, Mr. Ward, can you think of the name of the last book that you read? Okay, think okay. about it. What was the last thing you had to eat? The BFG. What is your name? Cereal. 
who is a brilliant singer? <laughs> Mr. Ward. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite sport? Kylie Minogue. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you famous for? Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> right, excellent. Right, the last one mm. is even trickier. Oh, no. And remember, have a go at writing and maybe just start with two or three questions to start with. But here we go. Right. What is your name? Think about it, don't answer it. Who wrote the book, Kintsuki's Kingdom? Oh, Mr. Ward. Who is your favorite author? Oh, this is mean, Michael Morpurgo. <laughs> Who is your least favorite <gasps> author? Roald Dahl. Who writes the best children's books in the world? That's horrible. Michael Morpurgo. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the deputy head teacher at Castle Hill? Raul Dahl. <laughs> <laughs> um, who drives an old yellow mini and never speaks on the television? <laughs> um, Mrs. Merritt. <laughs> <laughs> and who is your best friend? Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Mr. Ward. Well done. Um, so there are two more things you can try at home. Remember, if you want to send them in, the questions you've written, if you want to film what you're doing, if you want to send us in a photo, anything at all, we would be delighted to see them. So stay safe. Keep going. I know it's tough at home, but you are doing a brilliant job and we're very proud of you. And mums and dads, we've still got some spare laptops if you need them. So please come and ask. OK, have a fantastic day. And thank you very much to my volunteers. Thank you.